I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. I am so freaking excited, guys, because there are a lot of new things to check out on this episode. There's a new selfie mode, there's a new school gate murder method, a new area at school, new animations for dumbbell weapon, ability to wield a fire extinguisher as a weapon, and four new characters. Not one, not two, not three, but four brand spanking new characters. We're gonna check them out right now. If you guys are cool with that, you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna check out is this new selfie mode. So E is selfie mode. Oh my god, throwing up all the pieces right in front of the school. Look at me, guys. Look how cute I am. This goes against everything that Yandere Chan is. She's like a lifeless, soulless person, but here she is throwing up the pieces, and we got a selfie guide right here. So let me see the selfie guide. You Do not determine suck. the subject of photo. Try again. Oh, she's an imposter of the pieces. So photo of blocked face. So I gotta get the face right in the middle and then BAM! Photo of Shiromi Toriyoshi. That is actually a very good way of not acting suspicious when you're taking a picture. I actually like that a lot. Let me see if I can get Senpai in my selfie game real quick. Got him right in the circle and BOOM! Photo of blocked face? You too ugly for a name? How about if I go right here? Let me do it right here. BOOM! Photo of senpai, there you go. I don't need any pictures of your senpai, but don't you want to look at my senpai? Isn't he so goddamn handsome? All right, let's take some more underground selfies of students. Let's see if I got game like that. Cannot determine subject of photo, try again. Ooh, can I go underground with this? Oh, I thought I could go underground and see some cool stuff. Maybe that girl under the fountain's still there. Can I see her? Hold up, let me see if I can see her. How about I turn selfie mode off? And no, I can only kind of see underground when I have selfie mode on. I wonder if that girl under the fountain is still there. She probably was removed, but I just can't remember because that was a long time ago. You know what? Maybe I can see it. Let me go to the roof real quick. And wait, this is one of the new characters. You know what? Forget about the girl under the fountain. We got a new student right in front of our face. Let me position the selfie right here and pizza. Photo of blocked face. I got to get it like right in the middle. Wait, why does he notice that? I'm taking a selfie. You ain't that handsome. Hold up. Let me get him right here. And who is this? Photo of Kyuji Kanagawa. His personality is loner. He has no club. He is very weak. He is a student who was popular and sociable until a few weeks ago when he suddenly became very withdrawn and distant. He doesn't seem to be willing to discuss his feelings with anyone and prefers to be alone with his thoughts. Okay, loser. Whatever you say. Let me upgrade my reputation and seduction. Let me talk to him. And can I do a task? Okay, he is the character that doesn't have a task. Can I ask him to uh, do nothing? I don't want to talk to you. You're a loner. I actually found another new student right here, guys. Let me selfie my way into this guy's heart. And boom! Photo of Toga Tabara. So Toga's personality is heroic, but his self-defense is very weak? Wait, so you're heroic in your mind, but in reality, you're a weak pussy boy? I don't understand that. He is a student who is struggling to determine what he is going to do with his life after graduating. Last year, he spent time as a member of each club, but didn't feel like he belonged in any of them. He can often be seen wandering the school aimlessly, deep in thought, contemplating his future. So let me talk to this guy. Let me see if he's the guy with the task. He is not the guy with the task. Okay, so we met two new characters, two more to go. Whoa, hold the phone. Oh my God, this is sexy. Oh my God, I didn't even know this was updated. I was reading like what's updated, but I didn't even see all this. Hold up, I gotta sit down and I gotta admire the beauty. God damn, that's looking sexy over here. Where is another new character at? There's nobody else in here, nobody behind here. Maybe there's a new guy up near the rafters. I don't know, like a guy just hanging out. Nope, nobody. Wait, what the heck? This guy just ran up in here. Where was he? He came from this way. Hold up. He came from beyond the gate. So maybe he was hiding there the whole time? Or does he arrive at school late? He's changing his shoes. So that means he comes late. Okay, hold on. Let me get a selfie with you. Photo of Otohiko Maichi. Who? His personality is coward. He is incapable of self-defense. And he is a frail and sickly boy. Because of his poor health, he can often be found in the school infirmary. Usually oversleeps and arrives at school later than any other student. Sometimes ridiculed for his unusually feminine mannerisms. Known to be extraordinarily clumsy. Are you the guy with the task? Please tell me you are. I can't even talk to him. So he arrives at school late. No wonder he was running past the gate. I thought it was just a glitch. But those are three characters. I have one more to find. I don't know if he's the guy with the task or the next guy is the guy with the task. But let's see, you are the occult club guy. What about anybody here? Anybody new? Any fresh faces? Wait a minute, this has gotta be the fourth guy right here. 
The guy holding this pink uniform right here. The guy who can't even see. Okay, hold on. We gotta get a selfie with this guy. His name is Hazu Kashibuchi. His personality is coward. He's incapable of self-defense. And he's a very timid student. His worst fear is having negative social interactions, so he chooses to seclude himself from others. He is exceptionally talented at sewing and can often be found in the sewing room. Okay, so one guy is always found in the infirmary and the other guy is found in the sewing room. I think we got like a sewing audio glitch? Because it sounds like he's still sewing something together. Okay, so let me restart the day. I think this is the guy with the task. And we're gonna talk to those remaining two students and let's see what's up with them. Actually, before we do anything, guys, there is a new murder method using the school gate. We can actually press the button that's by the gym teacher right here, but we can't do it while her and her cone titties are standing right next to the button. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna laugh my yandere ass off right here and then she's gonna walk her way over here and then we're gonna press that button. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Come around here and let me press the gate. That is the slowest shit ever. Can I actually kill myself from that? No, I can't. I have superpowers that can just magically open it. So wait, I thought we could kill people using the gate. Okay, so while all students are coming to the school, I'm gonna do my little giggle right here. Cone titties is looking over here. So once she comes this way, it is time to kill. It is time to use the school gate to kill. All right, there you go. Okay, so close this bad boy. And does that kill anybody? That doesn't really do anything. Okay, I thought it was gonna pancake some Japanese students, but apparently not. You know what, enough of the laughing. We are just gonna go Ebola mode. Let me just kill you. And I can't actually press it. So she really can't be nearby. All right, let me drag that. And then let me close it. Wait, why can't I press it? I can't press it while I have Ebola? Hold on, maybe I can actually falcon punch my way to greatness. So let's get her off the picture. And then let's see if I can press this. I can't press the gate? So she has to be alive but not near the button for me to press the button? Let me see if I can crush these guys. I think I gotta time it. Please, please, try to come through, try to come through. What? I don't get it. I don't get how this is supposed to work. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what? Okay, come through, come through. Come here, guys. It's now open. Now it's closed. Kill her! Kill her! Okay, you know what? We're gonna figure that out later. For now, we are gonna go into the sewing room because that's where the new guy is. And we are gonna talk to him real quick. He's right here in the corner. We talk to him. And he is the guy with the task. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Do you want me to leave? Wait, you wanna know if I need help with anything? N no, no, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, um, I'm a little thirsty, but... You know, that's uh, not, not really a problem or anything. Hazukashi Buchi is thirsty. It would be easy to manipulate him into feeling indebted to you by giving him a drink. Will you accept this task, you bitch of sweet ass? I will. Huh? No, no, seriously. It's, it's not a big deal. Oh, shut your passive-aggressive ass up. We are gonna get him exactly what he needs. So there are actually a few vending machines right over here. This is the new cafeteria area, which will be very handy because then we can hide behind different walls and then we can block out people's points of view. So this is a pretty cool feature right here, just having these walls right here so we can be extra sneaky sneaky. But for now, we are gonna get either orange soda or E7up. I'd rather fuck with E7O. Uh, so let's grab that and let's quench this fuckboy's thirst. What? You actually got me a drink? But I... Wow, you're you're a really nice person. Hey, I'm not good at anything except sewing, but if if you ever need anything, like, uh, like a spare uniform, maybe, uh, I'd be happy to help. Cool. Okay, so basically we can use this guy anytime we have a bloody uniform, we can get an unlimited supply of uniforms. But he has like a different looking uniform than what I have. So let me actually try to get this a little bit bloody and then let's see if we can get a uniform that's exactly that color. Oh wait, never mind. He's gonna give us this. Okay, so we just get the plain Jane one. I thought we get that cool ass purple one. Come on. Can't you give me this cool ass purple one, my guy? So another thing that we can do is we can actually pick up the fire extinguisher and use it as a weapon. So let me see what kind of weapon we can use it as. Let me bop her on the head. Oh, shit. I couldn't even see what was going on. It was so laggy. Okay, let's try this again. Let me pick this bad boy up. And let's use it on our favorite guinea pig right over here, Midori. Oh. So we two-handed. 
and then we swing it across their face. But when Yandere-chan gets more psychotic, doesn't the animation change? So let me try it on more people. Let me teleport here, and let me spawn somebody. Let me spawn another Midori. And let's try it again. Wait, what happened? Oh, I don't think I summoned anybody. Okay, swing it again. Oh, there you go. This time we put it in his abdomen, and then we just bop them on the head. And we'll try it one more time. Okay, we pin it to the ground. Oh my god. Okay, let's summon another victim. And then let's use the dumbbell. Let's see the magic. I two-handed that one as well. You know what, guys? Since I can't get anybody to just walk right in the middle of this while I'm closing the gate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass judgment, and I'm going to teleport you to my location. No, no, no. I wanted you to stop. I want you to stop. How do I stop you again? Can I pose mode this? Maybe I can. Let me reposition you right over here. Is that going to work? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And then let's close the gate. Please let me kill you. I can't kill you. I can't kill you. I don't know how to kill you. Okay, guys, I actually know what to do. So it was my bad for not reading all the updates, but it says that the guy who arrives at school late, you can actually crush his head with the gate, and you have to have perfect timing. So I really got to be on my A game with this. We're going to wait for the guy to come through here, and then we're going to smash that head in. Okay, so the guy's coming up. Do I close the gate now? Let me see. Ooh. Okay. We're closing it. He tripped. And do we smash that head? Oh my yes! God. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> Yo! That head is straight up gone! We can't even selfie that! Look at this! Jesus Christ! There's like a little baby bone sticking out of this guy. Oh my god! Yo, we gotta see that again from a different angle. Actually, before we even do that, let me end the day and let's see what the police say. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Otihiko Maichi. Police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question all students in the school, including Ayane. The police are unable to link Ayane to any crimes. And they leave, and I go back to Stock and Senpai, and everything's good in the world. All right, so let's try that one again. No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. I was about to reset the game and I forgot about this ceremony stuff. Does anybody even know who this guy is? Like he literally just got to the school. Nobody knows who this pink haired fuck is. Okay, so let's see this one more time, but we are gonna view it in the only way that we should, which is in the new selfie mode. And to be honest, just from seeing it like this, I guess you could say that he should have gotten a faster head start. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. There was actually some pretty cool updates in this episode, so if you guys have any more myths, comments, questions, or anything like that for my Yandere Simulator myth series, make sure you guys leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!